Vous écoutez bien, vous écoutez bien Alors, commence, commence. Vous écoutez bien, écoutez bien, alors commence, commence. Duke and Kentucky. It's time to end this long process. Kyrie Irving, where are you going to play college basketball? I'm pleased to announce that I will be committing to Duke University. I'll be a Blue Devil next year. So there is a Blue Devil in the house. Kyrie Irving, the number two point guard in the ESPN U100.
for him. ...by uh, our medical team here at Duke and with medical people from different parts of the country who are experts in foot, in foot uh, injuries and uh, some type of analysis will, should be done hopefully by a week to 10 days. And then a course of action will be taken based on that analysis. So he wanted to come back in the game and was able to come back in the game. And, uh, but uh, uh, then it got worse. Just four minutes, 41 seconds into the game. And Kyrie Irving, after 104 days away from the court, he's back. Highlights. All right. West Bracket, Anaheim the site. The night began with San Diego State and UConn and wrapped up with the number one seed, Duke, taking on number five, Arizona. We'll start with that one. And this guy, Derek Williams, was a right beast. Kyle Singler and Duke trying to repeat. I don't want to do any foreshadowing here, but it's not going to happen. Singler with a good start. He looked good, good from the behind the three point line. That's an area where he struggled this year. Duke in general looked really good from the start, despite Derek Williams' brilliance. Duke was. Uh -oh. shooting after the game. Can you make a similar immediate impact as a rookie that some of those guys have in this past decade? Uh, right now, I'm not sure. Um, right now, I'm just working towards doing that. Um, I'm trying to take the steps that they took or just trying to emulate their journey and try to work as hard as I can every day in the gym. When you say emulate their journey, what do you kind of mean by that? Uh, basically, the steps that they took and you know, the, the route that they took in leading their teams right away, that's something that I try to, I'm going to try to emulate. How, how do you feel that you can approach that, being a young guy stepping into a locker room? Uh, how are you going to make that transition to a leader in an NBA locker room? Well, that's something that Coach K prepare, uh, best prepared me for. Um, you know, he, just, he, just t he just brought all, he gave me as much knowledge as he could as he could um, during this short time that I was at Duke. So I'm just going to bring that mindset, that leadership mindset, into any organization that I'm a part of. Anything else about Mike that you particularly carry forward? 
Um, one is his humor. He's actually a humorous guy. I, I didn't know that when I'm going in, but, uh, you know, and one, just his leadership qualities. Do you want to go to Cleveland? Is that your hope? Uh, right now, I just want to go to any organization that wants me. Hey, man. Five minutes takes forever. <laughs> Dang. Sunday night sellout crowd has come out to see the Celtics take on the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first of what is a home and home series. We'll see these guys again on Tuesday night. Hi everybody, I'm Mike Gorman along with Tom Heinz. It seems like every night we come in the building, we go to Doc, we say, who's going to play? Who's not? You, you know? have had a unique chance to see Kyrie Irving uh, develop as a player because yeah. he was developing as his sons were. Uh, tell me about him. He's terrific. I uh, got a chance to watch him and uh, Austin play together on the USA team. Uh, a couple years ago, and uh, I was blown away by his athleticism and his decision making, his speed. Uh, he's a he's more powerful than people think. A couple of days now, the opponent tonight has a terrific young point guard, Kyrie Irving. Barely played in college, now he's one of the premier rookies in the league. And what he's done at 19 year old, 19 years old, is very impressive. Well, Kyrie Irving is certainly having an outstanding season. There's no question about it. He's a very dynamic rookie point guard. He's capable of getting out in transition, is scoring uh, from three point range, and he does a great job of setting up his teammates. He's one of the young bright stars here in the NBA today, and I think Jerry Lynn is defensively going to have his hands full against Kyrie Irving, Yes, he will certainly apply the pressure on behalf of the Cleveland Cavaliers. You know, it's so impressive about Kyrie Irving. He's not going to turn 20 until next month, yet has so much poise on the floor for this young Cavalier team. You look at the numbers, he leads all rookies in scoring. Only Ricky Rubio averages more.
See the folks lined up behind me waiting to get going. Everybody who's been waiting for LeBron James to come back home. Today, LeBron's come back. It's a welcome home party. Celebrate. Let's go. 30,000 hanging around the stadium waiting to see LeBron. LBC! Go Cap! Let's go! This is supposed to be off the chart tonight. The people are just anxious to welcome him back. Even though he might not have been here, he still did things in the community. The whole area really responds to that. This is amazing. You guys in the stands, I want to thank everyone for being here. You guys are unbelievable that made this possible. I don't know if you guys know what happened in the last month with me deciding to come back and play here. It's people that came to me and said, LeBron, you got to do what makes you happy. And I was like, yeah, I think so. And also, I'm going to do what makes my city and my state happy. And that's why I came back. I love you. I'm back. And of the few players that are coming, that, that guy from Akron, mm -hmm. quantify, I mean, it, it, you know how big it is in Northeast Ohio. How, you've seen it on Twitter. But since Friday, what's that been like? Um, it, it, it's, it's been a whirlwind. <laughs> it's been a whirlwind since, even since I got my extension. And then, you know, Braun coming back. And, uh, you know, it, it's, just, it's just very exciting for just downtown area and all Cleveland fans. And, you know, I'm just really excited to get started. Uh, you know, just just to have him as my teammate, and you know, I've heard so much about him, and now that uh, you know, you have the best player on the planet coming on your team, and you know, I'm 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 his point guard now, and you know, I just, we just go out there and have fun. You know, now that the game is just going to be fun out there, every game is going to be packed, every game is going to be you know meaningful, and um, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to.
everybody. Yes, sir. Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith. He's up there in the Bay Area. I'm Molly Karam. You guys oh, fired you're Molly. up? Yeah, oh, I'm Molly. I'm Hi, Molly. Hi, nice how to meet are you? you? Nice yeah, to meet nice you. to see you. Yeah, good. Stephen A., let's get right to it. Who wins the series? Give me your prediction. Yes, you have yes. to. It's Thursday. This is the moment. Let's go. America's listening. Heart or Skip head? Bayless. Heart or Skip, head? Skip, Heart Skip or Bayless. head? Skip Bayless. Skip yeah. Bayless. <clears throat> If I go with my head, it's the Golden State Warriors because obviously the Golden State Warriors, uh, to me, with the year that they've had, uh, the two superstars that they have as far as I'm concerned, Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, the reigning two-time league MVP, their marksmanship, uh, the snipers that they are, uh, free throws, three-point shooting, uh, the explosive tendencies that they put forth, uh, there is no question in my mind that you consider all of those things combined with their depth that the Golden State Warriors should beat this Cleveland Cavaliers team. Kyrie Irving will dribble it out. And the Golden State Warriors, with a huge win on the road, take a commanding 3-1 lead in these NBA Finals. LeBron James and the Cavs now in a, in a big hole as they head back to Oakland. One assist shy of a triple double. Kyrie Irving had 34. And a heartbreaking loss for the Cavaliers. Been a part of game sevens. You've both been a part of the finals. The butterflies and the nerves have to be unbelievable as Thompson goes inside and lays it in. How do you get it to settle down? Well, you got to continue to remind yourself that it's just another game. Sure, the intent. As Kyrie Irving nails that one. In the last two games, they shot over 50% from the field, and that included game five here in the victory at Oracle Arena. And a timeout called. And this is good defense from Clay Thompson, and a great job by Steph Curry showing and getting back. Irving pulls up, stops on a dime, and banks it in. That's what Clay Thompson said was so difficult about defending Irving, his ability to just stop at a dime. As Kevin Love fouls Andy Barish out. Well, they run a little misdirection. Irving drives into the lane, layup rolls around and drops in. Irving's third field goal. Irving off the glass and one. Gorgeous move from Kyrie Irving and a chance for a three-point goal.
Jamaica in basketball. Off balance, variety is the spice of life. Eliminates the shot blocking ability of Draymond Green, but also the ability to rebound the basketball. He has been spectacular. Waited for this moment and has capitalized. 50 years. Curry, one on one. Here is where legacy is truly made. It's over! It's over! Cleveland is a city of champions once again! When you do the impossible, and they did it, the Cavaliers are NBA champions! Coming back from a 3-1 deficit, being the first team in NBA history to do it in an NBA Finals, winning back-to-back -back games at the Oracle. We begin today with the explosive news that Kyrie Irving last week asked the Cleveland Cavaliers to try. Fight! Fight! of ESPN is reporting that Kyrie Irving will sign a four-year deal with the Brooklyn Nets. What does that mean in terms of potentially another max free agent signing with the team? Woj always has the inside word, but keep an eye on that potential move for the Nets.